Uganda is a dynamic and diverse country. The nation is multilingual, multi-ethnic, and multicultural. The country's dynamism is in its diversity. In some cases, after every 20-minute drive, the language changes, the music tunes differ, and so are the dancing styles. So come with us on this enchanting trip to Fort Porto as they present to you this feature, Toro the Musical. I bring to you the modern tunes, the old and even the intangible Asian tunes that are sadly on the borderline to extinction. In this song, Orevzina Eviente, there's an extricable link between the praise for the beauty of a woman and a cow. Yes, you heard me right. The Bator of ancient times equated the striking beauty of a lady to the gracious nature of a cow. And Kavago is a Arturo word, literally an extract from the word Omugo, which means the queen. Fort Porto being a tourism city, they are presenting their cultural heritage to the tourists from within and beyond. And you know, you know, yes. Somebody has given you a child. Oh, I get a child now. <laughs> Dr. Stephen Kajura, a retired veterinarian, has built what he calls the Empako village. Here, people born outside the region and wish to get a slice of the local culture will be given pet names at this picturesque village complete with an upcoming cultural museum. We have uh, an amphitheater okay. in the cultural village and uh, it will be mainly concentrating on our traditional performers, traditional dances. <laughs> Irene wanted to sing about her hobby, coming home for the marriage Kwanjula ceremony. But her song has become so sensational, she's booked almost all weekends, months in advance. I understood people love praising um, their spouses. So I, I brought this to thank God because I have a man. Yeah, yeah. For decades, it was known Batoro could not produce modern music. But now, not anymore. They have shattered the glass ceiling thanks to the efforts of local artists like Atwoki Richie, a teacher by profession, and Irene Hindu. Atwoki Richie's song Kabago has been Toro's most successful social export, especially to Ankor. His TikTok challenges attest to his success. Richie and Hinda have been the music industry trenches for a while. Using this event to promote talent but also fusing it with the modern artists who are using inspiration from the cultural music. And as we left Fort Porto, we played the famous Toro Coca Semera song, paying tribute to the majestic beauty of the land. Patrick Amara, Fort Porto. <laughs>